Hyderabad because uh, Vigyan Ashram is something that we all look up to. I must say that uh, Maharashtra government has been uh, quite accommodative since uh, they have recognized our course for SSE as elective V1 uh, and uh, since 85, so it's a long way back. Uh, the main innovation that uh, we are trying to get into the education thing is uh, we believe uh, there are certain tenets for rural education in particular. Uh, the first one is uh, learning by doing because uh, real learning happens only when you experience it and not when you just hear it because it's in from one side and out from the other side otherwise. The other thing is uh, since economy is a major part, we want all the children also to earn something while they learn, which in effect in most urban areas you will find parents giving some pocket money to the children so that they learn the concept of money and how to value it. So we have this earn while you learn. And for our residential course, which is not part of the SSE curriculum, but uh, one year intensive uh, for the school dropouts, we insist that they earn at least 1,000 rupees during the stay with us in that one year. The next thing is that uh, we do not have any verticals for subjects, because in real life, you don't have any verticals. You need to be knowing a lot of uh, subjects irrespective of which classification is there in the formal education system. So we do not have any uh, subject-wise in that sense. But yes, we have groups of uh, different uh, activities which are there. And those are, uh, for instance, uh, low-cost construction, fabrication, workshop, including agriculture, animal husbandry. Virtually every aspect of life, real life, that you would come across in a rural area, including food preservation and home and health and the whole works, in fact. And the last uh, thing is so that our educational curriculum and subjects retain their connectivity with the community for which you are developing the education and the curriculum, we look at the community involvement as a major factor. So these are the four basic tenets on which uh, Vigyan Ashram is based. All our problems, all our projects are taken from the community. When community sees a problem or we think this is a better way of doing it, we take it on as a project and we try to uh, work on it. With the result, our byline is uh, education through development and development through education. So we have a big advantage uh, because we are looking at the children because they do not come with a baggage. No one comes and tells you, for the last 30 years I've been doing like this, why are you telling me to do it different? Children are always fresh, they always think out of the box. I mean, they are not put in a box, so they don't have to think out of the box. And uh, so it's much easier to introduce uh, new concepts, new ideas, and like at home, when there's a new TV, the child is the first one to know how to operate the remote. So same way, if the children in the rural areas uh, can accept a new technology, the rest of the parents uh, say, if my child can do it, uh, well, it must be good. So let me also adopt it. And we try to introduce uh, new technologies through the children rather than you know, push it down. And of course, we are always insisting on a pull effect rather than a push effect. And by that I mean, if you want your child to be very good in all respects, you need to be good and show him how to be good because children are very good at copying. So we follow that in practice in Vigyan Thank you.